ROI, actually, while we're on that, you mentioned uh, a few months ago, give me the details. How fast were you able to ROI your machine? I mean, get a full return on your investment and start actually making money minus the cost of 15000 for the machine. You turning that money into more money? In one project, probably about a month and a half, maybe let's be conservative and say two months, mm -hmm. the machine had well paid for itself. Dude. If you're in business and you don't see the opportunity in that, yeah. you need to rethink some things. Now, what if the machine was like a lot of the competing machines out there? It was fifty to hundred thousand dollars. Would it still have done that? No. Okay. No. So the price point made, possible. A, made a big difference. If you're, I mean, if you go online and you say high temp FDM FFF 3D printer, mm -hmm. and if they're not even willing to put a price oh, on their geez. website and say, hey, give yeah. us a call or email they, for a quote, they, yeah, man, it's more than forty five G's yeah, probably. Yeah. You guys are missing the mark. Yeah. But when you can go onto the website, you can get a wealth of information. You can see bundle deals. You can see a price straight up. And they still say, give us a call and we'll answer anything possible. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to call yeah. you. I'm already in. I'm already, like, interested. This yeah. looks great. Is this really true? Is this price? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. It's like, it has one of the things, as, since we you know, began as a reseller, we've sold machines where they're like, no, 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 don't put the price. There's still some stuff we sell like that, even mm -hmm. in the scanner space. And it just irks me because I'm just I'm like, okay, we won't publish the price. You're going to have websites that have the wrong price or slightly off price. People are going to find out the price. Where we, so we have to do this work to give just a person needs to know if they can afford or not. So we'll get people calling. Hey, yeah, I want that unit. And we're like, great. It, it'll be, it's a, it starts at 150 and goes up, up to, depending on your package, around 250. Oh, yeah, no, I got I got twenty grand. Uh, but now they feel like they're wasting their time. Yeah, well, your they, time they is being did. wasted because they were never going to be your customer yeah. at that point. So right. it's just yeah, they got all excited about it's, something and it's kind of rude. How to reach it, it? You know, now there's always been reasons for it, and there's a sales process and all this. But like me personally, I'm like no transparency. Throw it online. You know, one thing I've actually been thinking of uh, that I've wanted to do for a while is actually just changing all the prices to round numbers. So it's not four ninety nine. It's five bucks. It's five oh, bucks. Yeah. yeah, you know. I I mean that bugs um, me. And yeah. psychologically, okay, companies, you, you got to look at if you're starting a business, and this is higher level stuff. If if you're going to be doing a business, you have to give yourself the advantage. And sometimes having it at that lower price does get more sales. It makes it look more accessible. But there's still something a little bit, you know. This this, I mean, this this is marketing, but most of my buddies, yeah, they're like, hey, do you watch that YouTube channel? Yeah, they just watch YouTube. Yeah, that's me. I, like, I don't pay for TV. Yeah, I mean, I have a few like, yeah. you know, streaming right. services, but I honestly, I go to YouTube for like information, not for just entertainment. Mm -hmm. But right. I get it, and well, a lot of the information is entertaining. Well, it is also that <laughs> it's it's blending <laughs> like, now. I it's the same thing, yeah. and that's in business one hundred and one. It's just provide value. Right. That's exactly yes. what I try to do with my clients. I set clear expectations, and then I make sure I exceed them. Yeah. I provide a tremendous amount of value. If there you have one core focus in business, being a business owner, a creator, anything in that space, provide value. That's it. And the rest will work itself out. Yeah. And that's exactly, oh, I keep, I'm like tooting your horn here, but that's exactly what you guys did. That, that's the you whole provided, thing. You provided value and I saw it immediately. It's in any, well, okay, businesses, relationships, and in any relationships, it should be ideally a two-way street, and that's value going both ways, yep. right? It's like, hey, you make me laugh. I want to hang out with you. And this person's like, hey, you make me laugh too, or you're intelligent, or I like me. And that's, uh, okay, cool, we're friends now, right? Uh, you know, relationships. And then business is like, oh, hey, I have this cool thing. You have money. Okay, this is perfect. Exchange. It's yeah. all an exchange. You're cranking with the 22, yep. producing parts, new projects, aerospace stuff. When you knew you needed a more robust machine that could do these materials and just be a workhorse, what other options were there that you were considering that you were looking at or what other options are out there that will do that have similar or same capabilities as the 22 for materials? Right, that's a good question. There are options. I would say none are equal. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can talk about price, you can talk about features, build volume, temperatures, like all the, all the details, right? Prusa has something that's interesting, I think. Uh, probably, yeah. arguably the closest, I would say. Yeah, uh, the XL. Mark, yeah, Mark. Yeah, uh, sweet machine. What, H, yeah. HT90? Oh, the Prusa HT90. Yeah, yes. Prusa HT90. Yeah, the HT90. Uh, yep. And then you have Mark Forge, the, what's that, the FX20? 10. 10 and 20. 10 I think that's just build volume. 20 is the big one, yeah. Again, they don't have a price 
that's shown though. Oh so yeah, I think it's, it's close TBD to, close to two hundred. Oh okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So six figures. Oh, hundred percent. If, if it doesn't show the price, it's definitely over forty, uh, and it's probably <laughs> over a hundred. Yeah, yeah. Right. KD has uh, some interesting stuff. I think really Keydee competitive matters. prices, but right. not the build volume. Right. Right. So, and now the H two D is is interesting machine, but it's still pretty limited. It's a little bit smaller. So there's interesting machines out there, but there isn't one that combines build volume, true dual extrusion, mm -hmm. temperature capability, and a price point that doesn't make you consider, do I buy a machine or a new car? <laughs> yes. Right? Yeah. And that's where, if you just are comparing machines, Didex already is it's looking really promising, yeah. looking really capable. And personally, this is totally subjective, I like the way it looks. It looks industrial, it looks serious, and there's not a bunch of frills and BS yeah. on it. Plastic oh, facades. and Whoa. the filament's inside. It's it's being managed better versus outside, and now you have yeah. to come up with a solution right out. So that was another little data point. Mm -hmm. So, okay, the machine's really interesting. I know what the price point is. There are service bundles, and so I can, I it, it looks already well-supported before I even talk to anybody. Yeah. And you have a wiki. Yeah, I could go investigate the wiki before I ever even decide to talk to anybody That's or not, move forward with anything. Password protected either. No, it's customers. just, it exists. Yeah. It's Here, out check there. Check it out. You can this learn. is what you're getting into. So from that point, personally, I'm, you know, I'm going through, I'm making notes and I'm pro and conning everything. And does this make sense? Can the project pay for this asset? What does it mean to have an asset like this? And at some point I just, I'm like, okay, now I got to do a sanity check and I got to call the guys. And so this is the other aspect of making an investment is who am I signing up with, Yeah. right? Because if I buy a, a, an asset like this at this level, I'm not going to go buy another competitors and now have two or three different types of machines at this level. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm committing not only to right. this first machine, but I'm committing to a relationship with this company. Learn the system. Right. Don't have six different systems. So that's where uh. I gave you guys a call. Kyle yeah. answered, and we had a fantastic conversation, super open, super helpful, was not pushy, and yeah. could just answer my questions. Does this, you know, sanity check, gut check, does mm -hmm. this machine line up with what I'm wanting out of it? And overall, the answer was yes. It's like we put so much information and content out there, so it's like, look, if you're really interested in this machine, you'll do your research, and when you call... What are we going to do other than answer a couple of questions? And yeah, cool. You ready? Yeah. Is, is this going to work? And the <laughs> fact that you're, you, you guys are so willing to just put so much content out, so much information out, is just shows, one, you're confident in the machine, and two, you're not hiding anything. Then, just total coincidence, I'm down in the Santa Ana area yeah. for other business matters, and literally the night before, I'm going to fly out. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to like look up where they are. I just had this weird feeling. Uh, yeah. I, was like, I just need to go look up where uh, they are. Santa great. Ana, Cali or Costa Mesa, California. Yeah. I'm like, no way. So I type in the address <laughs> 12, 15 minutes from John Wayne Airport. Yeah. Like, got on my computer, sent you an email at like 6.30 at night. <laughs> hey, my name's Barrett. We talked on the phone. I'm going to show up tomorrow at 10, whether you like it or not. <laughs> so I hope I can come see the place and talk to you guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, perfect. Came in the next morning, and Kyle and I, we chatted for an hour and a half. You guys showed me the machine. Was that the day I was sick? That was the day you were sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We shook so I was hands. here, but I was like, hey. I didn't get sick. Don't worry. Sweet. And then talked to my business partner, my wife, uh, about the opportunity. Does this make sense? And we both agreed. And within a couple of days after that, I had a machine ordered. The rest is history at that point.